right, I'm going to tell you what a good friend I have in Mike. He hunted this place next door here. And then this guy's mower wouldn't start, so he mowed his yard for him in exchange for us hunting. I just popped the plug and was looking for the coin and uh, popped it out and it fell down in this crack. It appeared silver, but I don't know yet. I have not gotten it out. I see it down there. If I can get it out. It could just be clad. No, it's going to be a Merc. Wow. It's going to be a Merc. Oh, That's yeah. Cool. Sweet. All right, dude. Nice. There you go. That's what we're after. That is exactly what we're after. Good job, dude. I am tickled with that. Oh, well, yeah. Wasn't super deep, but I thought I saw silver. So, cool beans, man. All right, buddy. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for the permission. Thank you yeah. for mowing the yard. <laughs> yeah, my sweat was really running down. <laughs> yeah, I wish you had some sweat to wipe this thing off with, but we'll keep going. We just got started. All right, this thing rang up 11.33, 12.33, and I dug it because of the depth, thinking it might be an Indian. But I kid you not, I flipped my plug over, and there it stood, and it's another Merc. Right there. Not sure why such low numbers. Let's see if we can see the date on it. 40, yeah. See if I can zoom in from afar. Can't be 47. I thought that's what it said. It's probably 42. You guys can see it. I have terrible eyes, but 42. Merc tickled to death. We keep going. Two Mercury's in As is custom in this neighborhood, little activity. Um, but you just pop a big old honking earring. It's kind of cleaning up silver, but it doesn't weigh very much, so I'm guessing it's just junk, but we'll throw her in and take a look later. All right, one of my favorite channels to watch is Digging with Seven. He's a button master, finds tons of them. I just dug a button. I'm trying to be like Seven. Don't know much about them, though. If I had him here, he'd tell me about this button. Got the shank on the back. Concave. We'll clean it up when we get home. See if we can find out anything about it. It's heavy as I'll get out. I wonder if it's silver. Nice find though. Tickled to have it. Okay, I just popped my first weedy of the day and it's a nice greenie. 1934, I believe is what it says on that. Nice and green. That's a good one. We'll keep going. This one rang up nicely, as you can imagine. Not quite sure what it's for. It is good and heavy, solid brass. Not 100%. Let's see if we can clean it up, find out anything on it. Cool, fine. We'll keep going. Alrighty, my next target is some kind of a watch fob. It's kind of caked on pretty good, so I can't tell a whole lot about it or whether there's writing on the back, but. Cool oldie, it was down about six inches. So we'll keep going. Okay, right after that watch fob, I popped this little unit. I'm not quite sure it's been hit pretty good by the mower, but not by Mike. It was too deep. It says Florida something. I'm gonna hand it over to Mike, see if he can put a little shine to it. His light, it's aluminum, a token of some sort. Yep, it's a token. It says Florida Project. The old Florida project, yeah. <laughs> Definitely cool. Yeah. Can't tell what's on it. I'm gonna clean it up, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, clean her up. And it's Florida her. something. Something pro pro. It's got a treasure chest on it. Yeah. What's treasure? That's a cool token. That is. Can't see much on the back of it yet. Awesome. Front of it, you can see down there. I found a Mardi Gras token on the <clears throat> neighbor over there. I think it's probably the same type thing. Florida pool prop, pool something. Maybe it's a token to get into the pool. Which man, would you like to get into a pool right now? I would. Yeah, me I would. too. It's smoking hot. Salt water too. 
All right, let's keep going. Besides coins, one of my favorite things to pop are tokens, and this is a cool one. It is the Tracy Dairy Company in Springfield, Missouri, and check out their phone number. It's 413. That's it. 413. I'll we'll have to research that out. Neither of us have heard of that. Get her cleaned up and show it better in the wrap-up. Okay, we finished up the backyard, and it's just, man, there's tons of nails back there. I came back to the front yard, which I've done already, pulled two mercs out of it, and I started a crisscross pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. And my first pass through, and I got a dime signal at about at about six inches and that's about where I see a rim right there hopefully you can see that I'm zooming in don't know what it is yet but let's find out together oh it's down in there there we go whoa whoa it's gonna be a ring it's a silver ring cool that's even mo better a little green gem to it. Awesome. Wow. Wow, that is pretty. Super, super. In good shape. I guarantee it says sterling somewhere, but oh, my eyes won't see it. Silver. Yeah, about that. yeah. All right. We'll finish up. We're about done. Okay, let's welcome to today's roundup. Man, this is going to be a, a quick roundup. Uh, great hunt Mike and I had. Uh, hopefully the lighting is decent. I'm doing this in a different area. Let's start off with this big piece. I still don't know what it's to, but it's a pretty piece. Uh, let me look at the back of it and see it clamped onto something. Not exactly sure what it would have been used for. I was thinking like an oil lamp at first, but not 100%. Um, did find a couple tokens this one uh, says Florida pool products on it and uh, on the back side it's got this crazy looking pirate as you can see which I found two of those one in good shape and one uh, not so good did find a state of Missouri watch fob uh, the great seal of the state of Missouri and uh, hadn't been able to clean up the back enough it does have some writing on it as you can see I'm not exactly sure what it says. Try to clean it up a little bit more later. Uh, this is a cool token here. Tracy Dairy Company, Springfield, Missouri. And it just cracks me up. The phone number, 413. Uh, but this is good for five cents in trade. So I did find out the uh, Tracy Dairy Company was around in the early 1900s in Springfield, Missouri. So has a little bit of age to it. Did find an old crusty key, uh, a junker earring. This button is cool. Uh, don't know a whole lot about it. Can't tell much about it. it. Has no writing. Can't tell. Don't believe it's silver, even though it's pretty heavy. Uh, old shank on the back, still intact but bent over. Uh, but anyway, really a cool button, flowery design. I'm sure it was on a dress of some sort. This little unit I'm not sure about what it is actually. Almost looks like a fitting to an air compressor uh, of some sort. Did find a half dollar. It's kind of cool, the half dollar you can see on it. The it, tarnishing, uh, there was a dime stuck to it as well. So found seven quarters, uh, nickel, looks like five dimes, and I don't know, 13, 14 pennies. Uh, let's get to the good find so though this uh, this is an old old silver ring in fact it's pre uh, stamping of 925 or sterling so but it is 100% silver great little piece uh, did find a couple mercury dimes on the hunt which you saw one which is a 1917 s the other a 1943 plane both of them in pretty good shape. And the only weedy of the day was this 1934. If I can get it turned around right. 1934 plane. So, uh, short hunt. Man, I'm, I'm tickled that uh, Mike mowed the yard so we could hunt it. I feel bad that I found a lot of the good stuff. And uh, especially the silver. And Mike didn't get any. But 
uh, I'm sure I'll pay it back somehow. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Mike. I, uh, again, as always, want to thank you for joining me on the hunt. And uh, until uh, next time, God bless you all. And get out there and dig some holes. We'll see you. Thank you.